In this video, I'll provide you with an overview to the Blackboard Ultra Gradebook. I'll show you how to access the gradebook, the different views that you have, how to reorganize items in the gradebook, and where to go to download and upload gradebook items and access the gradebook settings. I'll also show you how items get populated in the gradebook and how to add manual items into the gradebook, including calculations and attendance. So first of all, how to access the gradebook. Uh, if I open my course, it automatically opens to the course content menu. Um, and I can see these different tabs here in the upper left hand side. So I'm going to click on gradebook and that will take me to the gradebook landing page. So I'll walk through some of the icons here. First, we have the uh, different views, the list view and the grid view. By default, the list view opens up and this shows a horizontal orientation of all of the items. Within the list view, you can see the due dates, the status. You can also see these uh, three dots, which will allow you to edit or delete items here. And if you hover just to the left of those three dots, you'll see the move icon. If you click on that and hold it, you can actually move or rearrange the order of your items in your gradebook. So I'll move that back to where it was. It can be a little bit finicky, um, but you can uh, practice with that to get the hang of it. Uh, you'll also see some icons over here in the upper right hand corner. This is the uh, icon to upload a gradebook, icon to download the gradebook, and a gear for the gradebook settings. So that's the list view. If I switch to the grid view, I can see the list of the students on the left hand side. I can also see the items over here on the top, the different gradebook columns, and I can search the gradebook up here. I also have the option on the right hand side to filter by student, groups, gradable items, or categories. So I have some filter options in the grid view. So I'm going to go back to the list view. You'll also see in the list view, I have the option to view the students. So I can see the list of the students here. I can click on an individual student and see their grades. And I can also search for students to make it easier to find. OK, if I go back to the uh, gradable items in the list view, I also see that hovering in between items will provide this plus sign. And I have a few options there. Uh, so I'll walk through these option, options in just a minute. Uh, these items, the quiz, discussion, homework, these all came when I created those items in the content area. So typically when you create an item, a, a test, an assignment, discussion, it will appear in the gradebook as well, as long as it is gradable or that you have indicated that it should be graded. So. For the most part, that's where the items in the gradebook come from. But if you have assignments that are not within Blackboard, for example, they submitted something via email, um, you can add that also by clicking that plus sign and clicking add item. OK, you could type, uh, let's say, report, report one. You could set a due date. Um, set your grading and perhaps choose the grade category. Let's say this is an assignment and we will save. So now I've created an item manually in the grade book. If I need to edit that item, I can click the three dots and edit. For example, I might want to make that visible to students and click save. There are a few other options. Um, I can add a gradebook calculation. So clicking that plus sign and clicking calculation. I could maybe create a total 
column. And I could create an average, total, minimum, maximum. I have several different functions here and some operators. I'm just going to create a simple total. And when you click on that total, you can select what you'd like to include. So perhaps I want the report as well as the homework to be included in my total. And I can save that calculation. So now when I exit out and go back to my gradebook, I have that total um, calculation created. I can click on that and see the total for the different students. If I don't want that anymore, I want to delete it, I can go to that three dots and click delete. Lastly, in that plus sign menu, I have the option to add attendance. So if I want attendance to be a part of my grade, I can click on add attendance here. And I can set how much I want uh, late to be worth. So if I only want to give half credit for late, I can say 50%. If I want to give, uh, let's say 80% for late, I can change that here. And I will click save. And then this is the attendance for today. It's pretty easy to mark students present or late or absent. And you can see if I click late, that student's getting 80% of the points there. I can also go to this overall um, where I can see the different class sessions and I could add a class session here.